Hello everyone, welcome back to Fordham Live. I'm your host, Stephanie Cohen. Tonight I come to you with some disheartening news from my hometown, Reading, Massachusetts. Last week, over the span of six days, Reading Public Schools saw four incidents involving graffiti that was anti-Semitic, homophobic, and racist in nature. On Friday night, the town held a candlelit vigil to symbolize light and dark times. Administrators and students spoke to the crowd, denouncing the incidents and calling for an extra display of inclusivity in their wake. As we know, Reading is not alone in experiencing these hateful acts. In the past few days in New York City, a pole was thrown through a synagogue window during prayer in Williamsburg, and racist graffiti was found on an African burial ground in Lower Manhattan. According to the FBI, hate crimes are on the rise for the second year in a row in the United States. If you see a hateful act, please report it to law enforcement, and make sure to show love and acceptance to neighbors and strangers alike. Now we're going to take a quick break, and when we come back, Kristen will discuss polling information for tomorrow's election.